This video is based on one of the most popular posts that we ever post on our Facebook page, Christians and Muslims Conversations, link in the description box. The post insights after just five days was already at a 7226 reach or post views with 441 post reactions, 207 comments and 482 clicks. To compare this with other posts, the next one following on this one is of an Iranian Muslim's testimony, where he told how he called to Allah in a time of need, but Allah never answered, Jesus did. This post, Reach, was only 25. The Facebook post heading is, A few of the biggest mistakes made by Allah or Muhammad in the Quran. The content is a subtract from the well-known book, Welcome Home Muhammad, by Christian Daniel. The post just covered a small part of Chapter 2, 10 Reasons Why Islam is False. A few notes. 1. The book, Welcome Home Muhammad, is available on Amazon and Kindle. The link to order it will be in the video description box. 2. This video doesn't try to explain why this post was so popular on Facebook, why its reach was so high. It just wants to point out that many people are really serious to investigate the truth about the Quran and Islam. 3. The video also doesn't try to answer or comment on contents of the claims made in the book. 4. This video only covers a selection of three of the biggest mistakes that the author described in his book, the same that the post reproduced. Okay, let's look to this video now referring to the mentioned Facebook post. A few of the biggest mistakes made by Allah or Muhammad in the Quran. Number one, the Trinity. One big mistake in the Quran. The Holy Trinity was misunderstood by Muhammad and his false god Allah. The Quran teaches that the Holy Trinity consists of the Father, the Son, and Mary, and condemns Christians that believe in this Trinity. Quran 5, Al-Ma'idah, 72 to 75. But there is no Christian that thinks this. Muhammad misunderstood the people and copied something incorrectly. Mary is not a part of the Trinity. The Holy Spirit of God is. It's obvious that if Allah were the God of the Bible, or if He were any God, He would not have made such a mistake, but He did not know. So, He is not God. He cannot be an ignorant God that makes mistake after mistake. Muhammad was the one talking from himself, and he is a fraud, and Islam is obviously false. Number 2. False Statement in the Quran About Ezra The Quran in chapter 9 verse 30 is telling us, The Jews say, Ezra is the son of Allah, and the Christians say, The Messiah is the son of Allah. That is their statement from their mouths. They imitate the saying of those who disbelieved before them. May Allah destroy them. How are they deluded? What's wrong with this revelation from the Almighty Allah? It's false. That's what's wrong. The Jews do not believe that. Most likely Muhammad was tricked by some Jews into thinking that, and then he repeated it in the Quran out of ignorance. He also repeated stories about Jesus, Quran 349, that are only found in the Gospel of Thomas, a fake heretic writing from the second century that was never a part of the Bible. This proves once again that he was an ignorant, a fraud, and that Islam is false. Number 3. Mary, mother of Jesus, is called the sister of Aaron. This is claimed in chapter 19 of the Quran, Quran 1927-28. Also in chapter 3, Moses' father is also mentioned as the father of Mary, so again confirming that Moses, Aaron, and Mary are siblings according to the Quran. The problem is that Muhammad heard those stories from Christians and Jews and started to mix up the characters. Aaron was the brother of Moses and they also had a sister, Miriam. The Quran assumes that this Mary is the same Mary, mother of Jesus. We know that Jesus was born 1,000 years after Aaron, so Mary cannot possibly be Aaron's sister. This gets even better. This mistake was noticed by Christians and they pointed it out to Muhammad making fun of him. In Sahih Muslim 2135, Muhira B. Shuba reported, 
When I came to Najran, they, the Christians of Najran, asked me, You read, O sister of Harun, i.e. Hadrat Maryam, in the Quran, whereas Moses was born much before Jesus. When I came back to Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him, I asked him about that, whereupon he said, The people of the old age used to give names to their persons after the names of apostles and pious persons who had gone before them. In this case, Muhammad had to make up an explanation, claiming that in the first century, that's how people referred to each other. But this explanation is not found anywhere, and it cannot be true since not the Christians nor the Muslims knew about this tradition until Muhammad's mistake was caught. Also, this factual historical mistake once again proves that the Quran's author cannot be God. Of course, it's Muhammad and the story is clearly made up. Confusing two people that lived over a thousand years apart is just another proof that the Quran is not a word of God. It's false. Muhammad was a liar and Islam is false. Thanks for viewing. The best would be to download and read the whole book, Welcome Home, Muhammad, from Christian Daniel on Kindle. The table of contents of the whole book is given in the description box. References All the sources quoted for the information are the Qur'an and Hadiths, the most trusted sources of Islamic traditions and life of Muhammad.